I also want to do is do some style reference stuff. So if we have, we have this. Now, this is just the only thing. I just don't want to confuse people. But the, the only difference is right now, Phoenix isn't compatible with image guidance just right now, but it definitely will be very soon. So just for the sake of this experiment, I'm just going to put it into cinematic. Very shortly, these will be deeply compatible. So anyway, so we're in this. This is where you've got this little magic star. Now over there, this opens up your image guidance. Now we have gone through this in a previous demo. So hopefully this is a bit more familiar to people. So this is for style consistency. Now style consistency, you can either do using like seeds and creating a workflow that has this like seed thing, like all of it consistent but maybe maybe you've, you've created a series using a different format, like a like not in Phoenix, you've built it somewhere else, or you maybe have images from maybe a photographer and you have like your body of work that you want to use and that doesn't have a seed, like only, like only generated work has seeds. So style consistency, there's multiple ways of achieving that using image guidance and style reference instead. So that can be a helpful way of working if you prefer, like if, if you need an option like that. So let's go into style reference. And I want, okay, let's, let's do the purple one. So there's differentiation. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to choose this and I'm going to have the star reference probably in like ultra maybe. Now what I'm also going to do, because I'm not, I don't know how to articulate this. Like I don't know how to describe this image. I'm going to use describe with the AI for the image that I'm creating as well. Right. So I'm going to do content reference. Go grab one of the gens. Kind of fun. Okay. Let's do that one. And now describing that image would be really hard for me to do. Like, I don't really know how to do that. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to put this one on um, and we go chuck that there. Now, because I've got the star reference at ultra on max, it shouldn't be that specific to the colors because this will mention the color. Does it mention? Shades of pink, blue, green striking. No, that, that'll work. It'll be fine. Okay, so I will put that there and I'm just going to run it so you have an understanding of what I'm doing right now. Okay, cool. So... The, the 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 content reference is where you put like the thing that you're trying to mimic or copy and then the star references the color the gray that you want to do so if we're going to build a series if i go and build let's just say that works and then i'll go and do the next slide so then i would be like okay content reference next next part of my animation or whichever i'm going to do so let's so go and say we're going to do this one okay and then i would go and put that same one as my describe with ai to make sure i've got the um the thing articulate so maybe oh god i can't remember which one i picked oh no oh was that one is it this one? Oh my god i can't remember oops um okay so it's gonna go quickly go and find the thing and i'm gonna run that again okay so what you'll see is the colors have changed right so this is cool because now i can go and have like my initial base this so it was these cool like fun pink and blue things that i had initially and now I can go and do like whichever kind of aesthetic or world or color palette or color grade you want to get. Now, this is just like a general random workflow is really, really, really fun because you get results that you like definitely like can't predict. You probably wouldn't have even thought about it. And all of a sudden your images can get so much more interesting and exciting and weird and quirky. So yeah, definitely like I, I encourage you to play around with these different stuff and these different features. Let's go and try a different color palette just to something totally different. Actually, here we go. This will be a good experiment. I'll, let's go take that yellow balloon we were doing earlier. Okay, so if I want to go and have grab the eye, I'm going to go get one of those yellow balloons. Maybe if we go and have this one. Uh, that one's all right. I don't know. Sure. I oh, know. Look, let's just, let's just be <laughs> plain yellow. It was good. Plain yellow balloon. Okay, so I'm going to get my balloon. So it's gone and written my prompt, tells me what the thing was. Okay, I'm going to get content reference. I'm going to go get my balloon. If I remember which one it was. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay, good. And now let's make that balloon some other funky color. So let's go get, that's kind of going to be edgy. Okay, let's get this one. And I'm going to put it maybe at a high. Oh, let's lost my balloon. Go get my balloon. Yeah, so a lot of these, these workflows that I do, a, a lot of like exper like I love experimenting. Like I think that is kind of like a really fun way to get outcomes that you probably weren't predicting. So there's nothing more that I love. Like when you go in and I do maybe something random like this, like a star reference. I'm like, oh God, I hadn't even thought about that. Like that's awesome. Once that finishes off, I think I'll quickly just show you some of my finishing touches. Okay, so yeah, so that balloon has gone and taken 
inspiration from this to do the color grade. Now I had that at like a middle. If I put it at max, it's going to push it. It'll probably break it a bit, but, but you know, this is a really fun way to just like add like funkiness to, to your work. But definitely like this isn't even upscaled. So if we like upscaled it, which one? That one's kind of cool. So we can just do an upscale. Sure. Run that there. So upscaling is just to make like a high res version of an image. I usually do it over in Universal Upscale. I love Universal Upscaler, but this is another way of doing it as well to get like a quick result and just see if which one was better. I have cinematic on at the moment as my model. So you're going to be getting this kind of like photorealism um, balloon. I mean, that's cool and funky. Cool. Something weird. I, br I put it on ultra. So things will usually break if you make it like, oh, sorry, I put it on max. Yeah. So I put it to the maximum. But yeah, that's just like a different, different kind of way of making things. 